Uh, we bought some more where we, I, bought some more QQQY and IWMY today. And uh, let's talk about why I did and how I did it and what I'm looking for next. And let's look at the charts. This is Mike tactical stock scalper all right all right so we're going to start here we're going to look at the weekly on the cues and as we see here we are just keep going up we have a two-week consolidation period now as you see here with the last two candles hasn't really broken up 395 and um, let's go to the daily here and it hasn't broken 385 so we're just chilling here consolidating i mean the more it it stays here it consolidates the more i a dynamic move is is possible one way or the other on the downside uh, we would look for that 385 well obviously is a first step of support and then after that would be the 20 ema right there uh, you see the white line come curling up and then 380 would be your next line of support on the way down if uh, we do get a drop. If we keep going, you know, the resistance here for the Qs, let me pull out this week chart. Next form of resistance on the Qs is the 400 level. Obviously, if you look at this, we are really stretched out. But um, did anyone notice how great uh, QQQY recovered today. And let's check this out. I mean, guys, I am trying to stick to a plan of um, going really slow with these funds. But, boy, it's getting harder and harder. Here's the one-minute chart. This is today's chart, right, today's action. We have the drop there from the dividend. And then, look. Nice, slow, steady recovery up. I was able, and I, I swear I took a picture of this and put it in one of the, the Discord servers. I was literally able to snipe the bottom down there at 1747. I could have got it at 1745, as you see right there. But it looked like it was going to break it and possibly go lower. And the cues were looking like it was going to go lower. So I just watched it. Once I saw 1745 uh, held, uh, it started going right back up. And I picked it up 1747 right in there. So lowering my cost basis, very nice. And I got money on the sidelines just waiting for a bigger dip, which I think is coming in the markets. Now, look, here's the thing with these dips and rises in the market. The market moves at its own time. It doesn't matter how much I want it to dip or anybody else. It's going to move at its own time. Let's look at IWM and what a beast this was today. Look at IWM on a minute chart today. Just flat rocketed. Look at this on a daily. Look at this candle on IWM. What a rocket. 180, we talk about when we have consolidation like this, like we are having on most of the markets. When it consolidates like this, dynamic moves come from them. And as you see, it definitely got, IWM definitely got a dynamic move today and uh, ripped up. I was able to get some IWMY. Let's look at this. Go to a minute time frame here in IWMY. Kind of flat today, honestly, for IWMY. Um, we have the dividend drop. And it looks like 1980 was the lowest. And then we're up here to, what, almost $20? It's hard to tell after hours, particularly with this one-minute chart and not a lot of volume. But I want to show you something uh, interesting about IWMY. IWMY. Look at this. And if you can see here, the volume. You see these gray candles, these two gray candles? Look at the volume coming in on IWMY, right? You see the huge amount of volume uh, today and yesterday. Once that dividend was announced, people piled into I. W M Y. Look at the, look look at how. I mean the the bars are massive on a volume in comparison to uh, 
what it's uh, been like. So uh, that's great for the fund, and we'd love to see it. So I got some IWMY today. I got some QQQY. Still a lot of money on a sideline because I'm just waiting for this dip. Let's look at uh, Tesla today and see what she did. Tesla continues to be in this range. Came down to 230. Guess what? 230 held, and it went right back up. Um, this 230 level has proved to be really strong support for Tesla. And the 200 uh, EMA that you see there in purple, where I have that arrow pointed at. Tesla just staying strong and consolidating. Again, a dynamic move comes out of these long periods of consolidation. So uh, be ready for that. Let's look at Tesla and see what she looked like today. Again, just staying in the range, staying right with Tesla as far as this is concerned. Uh, staying between you know eleven dollars and twelve fifty for the last two months, basically, and just hanging in there. What a well, at least uh, the last month anyway. So. Really great stuff here for uh, Tesla holders. You know, depending on whatever dividend is going to be announced uh, for Tesla, they can't be upset at this. Just ranging. And it's great for a fund like this when it ranges. Um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be looking for dynamic moves in the markets because everything that's major. Oops, soy. I don't know what that is. Let's check out SPY. Look at this. Everything is just ranging. You know, we're just consolidating. Something's brewing. What will it be? Uh, dynamic move up or down? We don't know. Uh, obviously, I'm thinking down as all my money is on the sidelines. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Have made some money moves. Bought some QQQI, IWMY. Still got a lot of money on the sidelines. Just waiting for a pullback so I can really load up on these. This is Mike, Tactical Stock Scalper, out.